continuing to field questions for us, Amelia. I have a student who says that he is aware that he needs to review all of the NBME content prior to his real deal. Uh, he's going to sit the step one. I know some of you are sitting for step two. Relax. I'll cover both. But he's aware he needs to review all of the NBME content. And he's worried that if he goes through all that content to maximize his score augmentation, then what is he going to have left in the end to uh, assess himself? Okay, so uh, can I elucidate that a bit more as far as how to space out those NBME exams? And in the event that you've already spilt your fucking milk and you've already used all the exams, what should you use now? Okay, are we fucked in that regard? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. And I'll start the clip. So how should you go through the NBME exams appropriately? And as I've made innumerable prior clips on, and I've inculcated to the point of exhaustion, that for step one, you're going to be memorizing NBMEs 20 through 30. You're going to be screenshotting your incorrects from those exams into a Word document, saving as a PDF slash Anki cards, where you whip through those incorrect questions from the NBMEs. For step two, NBMEs 6 through 11, as well as all the clinical mastery series, the CMS, the NBME subject specific forms. So you need to memorize all of that NBME content prior to your real deal. And if you're studying for step two, I mean, you're going to be going through that clinical mastery series, uh, all those forms while you're on rotation, studying for your shelves. If you're a post-grad, you're going to do all of that content and then NBME 6 through 11. If you're studying for step one, you're going to do UWorld first, then you're going to go into NBMEs 20 through 30, and that's going to be mostly the final month prior to your exam that we're going to look at 20 through 30. So that's the short version of it without uh, getting into the cookie cutter elements for every student because everyone's going to be in a different scenario. Uh, there's, there's custom remediation, et cetera. But I should mention that when you come out of UWorld, the first thing we're going to have you do is NBME 20 offline followed by NBME 21. And you need about no more than 65 to 70 wrong out of 200 on those forms to pass you a simile. Okay. So. If you get maybe in the 80s wrong and we say, okay, that's borderline, we can have you move through those NBME exams, all right? Because yes, your scores are going to increase as you review. That's the whole idea as I've talked about. But let's say you uh, get disastrous results. You get EG 100 wrong, 120 wrong on those on 20 and 21. I would say pause. We're going to take two steps back and we're going to have you go back through UWorld Incorrects or USMLE RX Cubic. There's no point in having you move through those NBME exams and exhausting that material, despite their score augment augmentation effects. We're not going to have you go through that material if your foundation is clearly still weak enough where you need to really go back to Cubic, okay? So that's the short version of it for the moment. So we'd have you go through 20, 21. If your scores are really fucking shit, back to QBank. If they're not great, but maybe borderline around passing, we move you through 20 through 24 in, in their entirety. Then I have you go through generally free 120. That's a good time to insert the free 120. Uh, students who are obsessed with doing the UWSAs, which are the World Self-Assessment Exams, which are no longer mandatory because the step ones pass fail. Uh, they are predictors. They are. Okay. So you can do those exams, you know, the free 120 slash UWSA is like last. If you haven't touched those yet, you've only touched the NBME material. But I would generally have students go through uh, free 120 prior to NBME 25. Uh, we could sit UWSA 1 at that point because I get students will often uh, get emotional and inquire about the UWorld self-assessment exams. They really want to do those exams late uh, because that's what they've read about on uh, Reddit and that's what their friends are doing. But we could entertain UWSA 1 prior to NBME 25. We go into 25 and 26 online. Now, of course, uh, USMLE slash NBME has changed things where they don't give you a three-digit numerical score online anymore. So annoyingly, it's like converting Celsius and Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, vice versa. And uh, But I, I'm more concerned about how many incorrects you get. Okay, And then we've got bootleg scales on EG Reddit, where you say, like, EG, you type into Google, like, NBME 26 score conversion, right? And then they'll have graphs with best fit lines as far as how many incorrects align with what three-digit score. Okay, And so that's what I look at. And if you're generally around passing, we have you continuing to move through. That's what we want to do. If your scores are really fucking shit, similar to when we were uh, in the offline forms, 20 through 24, 
we'd consider having you, you go back to QBank. Okay, you wrote Incorrect, sir, uh, USMLRX. We're going to move you through those NVMEs where by the time you hit 29 and 30, okay, I'm curtailing this discussion here. By the time we hit 29 to 30, you are ready to sit the exam pretty much. Like I would never have a student sit 29 and 30 unless he or she, unless I think he or she is already pretty much going to pass. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't exhaust those exams early. Um, and if you have, as I said, if we've already spilt the fucking milk, then, you know, you might be left with obscure forms that are left over. Like, I don't know, fucking offline, random, you know, US Assembly RX uh, assessments or Kaplan assessments. We don't want to have to go there. Okay. Um, and occasionally it does happen with students where they have to venture into that territory and where it really becomes a custom uh, subjectivity on my end over Skype, where I can just bombard the student with, I ask lots of questions and I can assess where you are. I say, no, you're not fucking passing yet. Or yeah, your knowledge base is pretty good. Yeah. I'm pretty confident we can move you through that type of thing. Okay. So the final recapitulation for this clip is you want to move through NBMEs 20 through 30, as well as six through 11 for 2CK. Uh, you're going to move through those NBMEs in the final month generally six weeks to one month and if your scores are really fucking shit you need to go back to qbank and remediate um if they're decent you can move forward and uh that's how you're going to sip the exam you know the deal i'm going to continue to make more content if you like my stuff subscribe my channel and i appreciate your time that's it